All right, so not much to think about here. This is just to get your heart rate up. So as you drop your hips down, keep your chest up, and then just shuffle back and forth as fast as you can. All right, so you're going to get down into a plank position, and then just keep your shoulders down away from your ears and push equally through all fingers as you push yourself away from the floor. This is mostly a shoulder exercise, so you don't want to feel it in your neck, and then you just want to feel your lower abs pull in as you get up to the top of the motion. You can keep as much of a bend in the legs as you need to, but try to keep them as straight as possible. And then just keep your lower back nice and flat as you raise up to the top of the movement. All right, so I just want you to crawl down onto the floor and extend your arms out in front of you, fingers totally extended and palms turned towards your ears. And then just keep your toes and upper thighs on the ground as you lift up. And then just think about keeping your core engaged from the front as you lift up just to support your lower back. All right, hands below the shoulders and knees below the hips and a tiny little micro bend in your elbows. And as you're going back and forth with your leg, I want you to keep your legs straight but without your knee locked out and your abs super tight so your hips don't rotate back and forth. Okay, hands below the shoulders, knees below the hips, micro bend in your elbow. And then I want you to think about this as a restop process. So you're going to lift your knee out to the side, pause for a second, kick out to the corner of the room, bring the knee back, pause for a second, and then bring it back in. All right, so you're going to roll down onto the ground, get comfortable, relax your head and shoulders, and then as you're raising your legs up in the air, think about your abs as a piece of paper that you're folding in half from the middle. So you're trying to fold the lower half into the top half. And I find that while you're thinking about this, you consciously want to be aware that you're not activating your hip flexors, that you're using your lower abs every time. So you're going to roll down on the floor in this exercise and just get comfortable. As you place your hands behind your head, make sure you're not intertwining your fingers and tuck your chin into your chest to support your neck. You want to think about leading this exercise with your ribs right underneath your rib cage, not your neck and shoulders. That'll make a huge difference.